Eleven months have passed since the deadly attack of Israeli forces on a humanitarian aid convoy sailing to Gaza, which resulted in nine civilian deaths and many injuries. This was an international incident with ramifications for international peace and security, and this is why the Council issued a very firm presidential statement immediately following the event. Moreover, this tragic episode was also the result of numerous and successive blatant violations of international law by Israel, beginning with the imposition of an unlawful blockade and continuing with the murder and torture of passengers on the international humanitarian aid convoy. convoy. Turkey first tried to prevent this incident, then, once strategy struck, it referred the matter to the relevant international bodies. Turkey, for its part, has strictly abided by all the parameters established for the international inquiry process under the UN, while refraining from unilateral acts and inflammatory statements. We continue to make every contribution to the inquiry process under the UN with the expectation that a fair and just conclusion will be reached. But there should be no question marks about resolve on this issue. We will pursue this matter and explore every available avenue in the international system until we are convinced that justice is done. No member of the international community is above international law. Accountability holds the key to stability and security. It should also be borne in mind that the phenomenon of humanitarian convoys to Gaza cannot simply be explained away as unilateral provocations. If the current pattern of Israeli policies towards Gaza, which target the entire population in a disproportionate manner, can be reversed, then the root cause of such reactions will also have been eliminated. Mr. President, in conclusion, let me reiterate once more Turkey's unwavering support and determination to assist our Palestinian brothers and sisters <laughs> in reaching their long delayed target of a viable, peaceful, and prosperous Palestinian state. Thank you, Mr. President.